Hello and welcome to this video series on Tableau Server version 8.1. My name is Nilesh Kamkolkar and I'm a product manager here at Tableau. And in this video series, I want to talk to you about some of the new features we're introducing in version 8.1 of Tableau Server. This particular video series will be targeted towards Tableau Server administrators that have been using Tableau Server for a while. If you're new to Tableau Server, please visit us at www.tableausoftware.com and review some of the getting started videos that are available there. This video focuses on the SAML feature. SAML is Security Assertion Markup Language and is an industry standards-based approach to single sign-on authentication. Before we jump into the details about how we implemented SAML, let's take a look at how a user accessing resources or a report on Tableau server actually gets access to it. There's two pieces of the puzzle here. One is authentication and ensuring that the user is who he says he is. The other aspect of it is authorization. Once the user is authenticated, he has to be authorized to check against the permissions that have been provided or assigned to that particular user before Tableau Server gives access to that resource that the user is requesting. SAML support for Tableau Server version 8.1 introduces single sign-on for authentication of the user. Prior to version 8.1, Tableau Server supported multiple authentication methods, giving you the flexibility, whether you're a small team running the Tableau Server by yourselves, or a large organization that has deployed Active Directory services and needs to use SSPI-based uh, Windows authentication. In version 8.1, standards-based SAML makes it easier for enterprises that have deployed identity management systems or identity providers that support SAML version 2.0 to provide a single method of authentication for the user. Let's quickly take a peek at how SAML works. In this particular graphic, you notice that I have a user with a username J Smith. And basically the scenario here is that J Smith wants to access some resources or a report, for example, on Tableau server. The way he would go about doing that is either via a browser or Tableau desktop or from the mobile application. And when he accesses that resource, Tableau initiates the authentication process. Tableau server will redirect the user's client to the identity provider. The identity provider will initiate the authentication with the client directly. Once the identity provider has authenticated the user, the identity provider then sends a response back to Tableau server. This tells Tableau server that the client is who he says he is. The user in this case says who, is who he says he is. Once Tableau determines that, Tableau then uses the permissions and authorization models within Tableau server to ensure that the user has access to the resources that he's requesting. Once that's done, Tableau allows the user to access the resource. Let's quickly take a peek at how this all comes together. I've set up an identity provider called Ping Federate. This supports SAML version 2.0. And this is already pre-configured to support integrated AD authentication. I have all of the settings, adapters, and configurations already done for this particular instance. And what I'm going to do is go through the flow of what happens when a user accesses a Tableau resource. And by the way, I've also, I've also gone through and configured Tableau Server um, to work with the Ping Federate Identity Provider as well. And that configuration will be covered in a different video. So for the user flow, what I'm going to do is go ahead and open a browser and go over to my SAML demo bookmark. And this is actually a request that I've made to Tableau Server but what Tableau Server has done is it's contacted the IDP, Ping Federate in this case, and Ping Federate has initiated an, ident an authentication uh, request to me as a user. So the client, in this case the browser, is popping up the username and credential dialog that I would typically see within a single sign-on uh, implementation. So in this case, I'm going to provide my credentials here, and these are Active Directory credentials. And when I sign in, I'm actually signing in with the identity provider Ping Federate in this case. So let's go ahead and sign in. 
And what's happening is now the Pink Federate has actually gone through the authentication process. Pink Federate has talked to AD in the back end, made sure that I'm a valid user in AD and that I can authenticate with the system, and sent a response back to Tableau Server, letting Tableau Server know that the authentication is successful. Once that's done, Tableau Server has then ensured that my user ID has the appropriate permissions to log in and view the workbooks or have access to the projects that I'm connecting to. So in this demo, I wanted to present to you an overview of how we've implemented SAML for single sign-on authentication in version 8.1 of Tableau Server. What you've seen is a very simple flow of how a user accessing a Tableau Server resource is automatically authenticated by an identity provider supporting SAML 2.0, and then in turn, making sure that Tableau ensures the users authorized for the resources and then providing access to the particular resource that the user is requesting. So if I had an enterprise application that supports single sign-on as well, if I was already logged into that enterprise application to Ping Federate or my IDP, I wouldn't be prompted for the authentication once again by Tableau Server. I would automatically get authenticated directly and have access to my resources based on my authorizations and permissions. All right, that concludes the video. In the next set of videos, I'll provide more information about how you can configure SAML and troubleshoot SAML and also introduce you to other features. Thank you.